Hey folks, how you doing? My name's Dave. I've been doing software development for 25 years. I've been doing SQL for 25 years. So before we get started, if you want to get a high paying job with SQL or SQL, then you have to understand analytical functions. Now let me repeat that. If you want to get a high paying job doing SQL queries, then you have to understand analytical functions. It's that simple. And just a note, if you find this video helpful, please click the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So with that, let's dive right in. Analytical functions are powerful functions that help you present data in a meaningful way without, here it is, without writing a whole lot of code. That's the key. If you had to write code that would do the same thing without using analytical functions, it would take you all day. Not kidding. So if you go on a SQL interview, all they care about is if you know analytical functions. But the strange thing is that most developers don't know them. And they, you know, yet the rank function has been around since 2005, and now it's the end of 2022. <laughs> wow. So let's get started. So what I have here, I have a table. It's a simple employee table. It's got employee, it's got their salary, it's got their department, which would normally be a lookup, you know, like an ID, like a foreign key. But here it's just text because it's an example and we don't have to do joins and then a higher date. So when I run this query, whoops, hold on. Let me, uh, let me go to the right. There we go. Boom. So here we have just, it's just a typical table. Okay. You know, you got your employee, your salary, your department, your hire date. It's boring. There's nothing interesting. It's not exciting. But what if somebody said to you, Hey, look, I want, what I want to see is a printout of the rank of who makes the most money. So, of course, you're going to order by salary descending, but then they expect to see something over here like one, two, three, four, a rank. Well, how would you do that? Well, the easiest way to do that is use the rank function. And let me just pick the right database. What rank does is it basically orders stuff based on what you tell it in the over section. Here's over. And then it says order by salary descending. So I'm going to go from the highest salary to the lowest, and then it's going to put a number. But it's not that simple. Notice what it does. Now, don't get me wrong. Writing this code, that's simple. What it does, not simple. This does a lot of work for you. Watch what it does. Okay, so it just added this column, rank. But notice, it's not what you might think. The first three people tied for first place, they make 290000 so of course they're in software and management and sales, and they all get a rank of one. But look at the fourth person, Ronnie Ralston. He makes 276 He makes the second highest like amount, but he's the fourth person from the top. Do you get it? He's the fourth record. So rank says four. It skips right over second and third place because there was none because three people tied for first. So it says, well, this guy's really fourth. So that's how rank works. Now, you may have a situation where you say, no, this, this should be a two, and this should be a three. Well, you can do that too. So notice this. There's also something called dense rank, okay? Here's the difference. If I do both of these, let me pick my database. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so now, now we see rank and dense rank together. So whereas rank goes one, 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 four, dense rank goes one, 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 two. See the difference between rank and dense rank, they do the same thing except that dense rank doesn't have any holes. But rank does have holes. It'll skip right over two and three. And so here's the thing, which one of these is correct? Well, it's not that either one of them are correct. It's just, it's which you know, your boss or your manager or you, if you're making your own software program or whatever it is, um, you know, or your customer, it's what they care about. But here's the reality. Nine times out of 10, you'll ask a customer, which way would you rather have it? And you'll show it to them both ways. And they'll have no idea what they want. They, because it's just, it's too complicated of a, th a concept for them to think about in 10 seconds. I've only worked with four people in 25 years that could tell me the answer that quickly and it would stick forever. Most people, you've probably experienced that they say, let me get back to you. They never get back to you. And then two weeks later, they want a status report. <laughs> it's just, so here's what you do. Here, here's the reality. Do it both ways. 
give them both of these columns, okay? Just give it to them both ways. Call it rank and dense rank, and you're done. And this way they and then and then this way, you know, once they're having a cup of coffee, they're drinking their Starbucks, and then they're looking at it, they'll tell you what they want. Okay. Now, I have to be honest, this data is not that interesting or helpful. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at it, um, basically what's happening is this is for everybody in the company, but the reality is they want to have this broken down by department. Now, if there's seven or eight departments, do you really want to make seven or eight different queries and have like a, you know, a where clause, you know, where department equals software development or where department equals sales and then just string them all together? No, that would be horrible. That would be horrible. So instead, what you do is you can use, I'm just going to show rank now. Now, if you notice here, I added something called partition by department. See over here, it started with order by salary descending. Well, here, the order by salary descending is over here. So what I did is in front of it, but inside this over section, if you will, I put partition by department. Now, here's the difference. Whereas here, or actually, let's just do this one because that's got the rank. It has a rank for everything all together. What this does, partition by, is exactly what it sounds like. It Whoops, let's go to the right database. Okay, so we do this again. And notice how cool this is. First of all, all the departments are together. And so here, they're all different salaries, so the rank does go one, two, three, four. Boom. HR. Home run. No, not really. One, two, three, four. IT. One, two, three, four, five. So it starts over every time, which is exactly what you want. And let me find a good one. Okay, marketing. Marketing is a good one down here. Let me do, do, do. So marketing has... <clears throat> Marketing has a tie for first place. Two people make 49000 You would think people in marketing make more, but come on, my mother could do marketing. Sorry, if you're a marketing person, I apologize. No, I don't. Okay, so you see the one, one, and then it skips to three, four, five, six, seven. And then finally, we come down here, and we're going to show rank and dense rank together with partition by. Now, can we do these together? Well, we can if we pick the right database. Sorry. Okay, I hate that voice. How about you? Um, okay, so here, see, it's fine because we're partitioning by department in both cases. If you were partitioning by two different things, you would get some very strange looking results. And you, there's really, you wouldn't really want to do that. So again, now here, let, let's go down to maintenance. Or wait, no, it was marketing or management or something. Something with an M. Was it marketing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so here it starts over at 1, but here it goes 1, 1, 3 versus 1, 1, 2. So you get it. We already know the difference between rank and dense rank. Has holes, doesn't skip anything. Has holes, no holes. Has holes, no holes. Cheese is denser when there's no holes. So if it's not Swiss cheese, you get more cheese because otherwise they're just selling you holes. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> that's how that works. But what if instead I wanted to do it by higher date? How would I do that? Well, let's go back here. And what I'm going to say is partition by. So what if I said partition by higher date? Now, remember, the higher date, that's going to be all over the place. That's going to be like the Wild West. It's not like seven different things. There's going to be all kinds of dates. And then order by salary. Well, OK, so a bunch of people when the company first started were hired here. And then we see their salaries. But you see, that doesn't really do... I mean, we did what we were asked to do, but that doesn't really help us. So, let's try to think of a real-world example. Let's say, for example, HR came by. Ooh, evil HR. And, you know, they said that they just want to get a list of all the people in each department, but they want to have it ordered by the date that they were hired. And by the way, when they're doing that, it's not for no reason. You know that's because there's going to be cutbacks and they're going to let the newest people go in every department. So this is where you need to update the database and say you worked there in 1972. Just kidding. That would be wrong. So here's what we could do. 
We could say, instead of what we're looking at right now, which isn't really helpful, we could say something like partition by department and then order by hire date. Let's see if this looks any better. Okay, see, now we have it. Now we have it. So now we have, you know, now we're doing the higher date descending. So really, it's like if we're going to get rid of the first person in every group, then that's how we would do it. Um, this guy, Quincy Quaker Oats. Yeah, that could really be a last name. It's probably not, though. Um, this guy would be the first to go. In HR, and it serves them right, because this is probably one of the people trying to fire other people, Ziggy Zellers came in in 2007. He's gone. And then Joe, is it Smith or Smythe? Or could it be Smithy or Smythey or Smitty? Wait, did we do that one? Did we do Smitty? We need a committee to realize if I said Smitty. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, so he would be gone too, because he's like the newest guy. And actually, next week we're going to be coming out with a bunch of... Um, videos where we're going to be talking about rank and dense rank and partition by, but we're also going to be using something called row number. And row number kind of does exactly what it sounds like it does. But when you add partition by with it, you're going to see some really cool stuff. And when we look at that, it's going to be even nicer. So anyway, if you like this video, again, please, you know, don't be bashful. Feel free to hit the like button. Uh, feel free to subscribe. And if there's anything that you really appreciated about it, hey, if you want to leave a comment, those are always great. I read all of them, or at least I pretend I do. <laughs> no, I, I kind of do. Um, and I want to thank you for your time, and I wish you well in your journey. So please enjoy this video and others. Thank you.